Hi. Hi, everybody. This is Tammy. How you guys doing? Okay. I decided to just turn on my webcam on my computer because I wanted to share something that I do all the time and I never share it with you guys. Okay. So, you know, you guys, I am actually studying to be a herbalist. I am a detoxification specialist. Showing off my weight loss. I'm still kind of I'm still chunky, but you know what? I've come a long way, and I wanted to share this. And I'm so proud, too, because it's because of the natural healing herbs of nature and what God has so graciously provided to us. What I want everybody to know is from whatever disease or allergy or condition that you have, you can turn it around and you can heal yourself with the healing power of herbs. And I'm going to show you and share with you something that some herbs that I've actually bought and that I've been using on a daily basis so please excuse me I'm going to be carrying my laptop around to show you a couple things currently I am on a juice fast I'm on a grape juice fast I'm doing the um, grape the grape juice cure fasting so I have juiced some grapes. I'm going to show you. So I'm drinking a glass of grape juice. Yes. Dark red. I've been doing all fruits and mono, mono fruit meals. So I am going to, let's see how I can do this. I want to start sharing some of these herbs that I have. Actually, let me go get them. Okay, so here's all my herbs that I've been using, you guys. Oh, I'm so excited to share this with you. Okay, so one thing at a time. I'm just going to kind of briefly share this. I'm not going to share every single benefit that each herb has. I'm just going to kind of expound on each of these that I'm, I have in my hand to show you why I'm using them. So let's get started really quick because I don't have a whole lot of time, and I'm sure you don't either. We're going to start with diagulin, okay? Here, this is the Giagulin. You see the name here? Giagulin. Also, they say that this is the greatest herb of all. It's a Chinese herb. It looks like this, you guys. It's kind of curled up. I want you guys to like Google this stuff, okay? Natural choice. I have gotten this herb at the Chinese herbal store. I'm here in Michigan right now. I'm actually on assignment. And this herb, I'm going to just share some highlighted stuff with you guys, okay? So this herb here is awesome. They actually call it a the like aka magic grass gynostemia. That's what they basically call it. So if you hear someone say gynostemia is actually the same herb that we're sharing, I'm sharing with you today. Giagulin, they also call it, that is the actual name of the herb, but they also call it gynostemia or the miracle grass. And I made a brew of this with the other herbs I'm going to share with you. And I have, tell, I'm telling you, I feel wonderful. I look great. You can see uh, the differences, like some of my moles and stuff that I have are getting darker. And I can tell that they're going to be falling off. Um, that's going to be a whole other video. Because if you have like small moles and things like that on your face, you can actually get those to fall off if you, pro if you practice proper nutrition and the right herbs to use. Now... The diagulin, what I love about it, it helps your cholesterol, helps to lower your LDL and your HDL, the good and the bad cholesterol. It helps with blood pressure, increases blood flow. It helps with digestion. It helps with strength and endurance. It also helps with immunity. It's an adaptogen. So I have really, and I'm using notes because you guys, I can't remember every single thing by my you know, by heart, but I know these herbs and I know them so well. And I love them because herbs have really been so wonderful 
for me in my healing. Um, as I was saying, it's an adaptogen. So what I have actually been doing is leaning towards more of the adaptogen type of herbs. Most adaptogens are not most, but there are a lot of adaptogen Chinese herbs. I've been really fiddling around and learning a whole lot about Chinese herbal medicine, which are like herbs because they use herbs to heal and uh, maintain everything, especially notice oriental people a descent usually look younger for their age they're usually thinner and they usually have a whole lot of longevity in their family like they can like age up to past 98 they usually go into like 100 102 years old that's one thing about this um herb jiagulin that i love not that I know that I want, I can live forever, but you know what? The life that I live, I want to live it very healthy and very productive. So I am actually leaning towards a lot of adapt adaptogen herbs that help with every ailment that you have. Adaptogen, ger adaptogen, adaptogen herbs means whatever your body actually needs, that herb will help to revitalize it, rejuvenate it, help it to um, grow and flourish into a, a healthy cell, a healthy organ, a healthy blood vessel, a healthy um, um, fluid like your lymphatic system, your blood it helps renew so many different things. It's great for the immunity. It's great for um, as far as making more antioxidant properties in your system. Um also, the jiagulin contains a large quantity of saponins, known as gen geninocides. Um, geninocides are very similar to like panic size. Like, remember, I shared with you the ginseng that I'm using is the Panix ginseng. I thought I felt really good using that, but I've been feeling amazing since I've been incorporating Jiagulin. And I've only actually adopted the Jiagulin within the last couple weeks. And I know this is an herb that I'll be keeping in my life forever. Okay, one thing about the Jiagulin, according to which type of quality of Jiagulin that you get. This one here tastes pretty good. It has like a bitter taste, but it's a bitter herb. Bitter herbs are really good for your liver, to cleanse your liver. This cleanses the liver, the kidney. It helps your adrenal. It helps everything because it's an adaptogen, but it's really good for the liver. And I'm actually concentrating on the liver, the kidneys, the adrenal gland, my colon. And one thing I want to tell you about this, as far as the colon goes, this actually helps to cleanse you out. I'm for any herb that's going to help to cleanse the colon and get me moving because the object of my life is to make sure that I keep my colon and my um, system moving. You want everything to flow. Your blood, your lymphatic system, your colon. You want the kidneys to be able to pump and filter out all toxins because sometimes we're not always eating 100% like well and i've been actually eating raw i've been doing a lot of juicing i've been doing a lot of fruits and you know when i can't take it i mean vegetables so i've been doing a lot of like intermittent fasting intermittent fasting on um grapes intermittent fasting on just pure juices ginger apples celery things like just juicing and or if i'm going to eat i'm going to eat all greens and or I've had cravings for regular stuff like potatoes. Um, what else did I have? I had a craving uh, uh, six days ago for like some food. So I ate a like I went to a Mediterranean restaurant and I had a falafel wrap and it was a um, falafel. Falafel is chickpeas, but it's fried. And of course, 
I don't eat a lot of fried foods, but I had such a taste for a falafel. And I had it. You know what I mean? You had it. You get it over with. And you get back on your regimen. I'm telling you, I probably still, well, to you guys, I look thick. I need to, like, put some before and afters. But I know the difference. And I know and I'm knowledgeable of what I'm doing now. So I feel as though this is a revolutionary time in my life because I know how to lose weight and what to do. I've been doing a lot of enemas, cleansing and cleaning my colon and keeping it clean. And it makes such a difference, you guys. I'm dropping weight every day. Even when I go off on my little, um, like, cheats, I, I don't feel as congested. I don't feel, like, as full. Okay, so let me just get to other stuff because I talked about the diagonal a whole lot. So basically, I'm going to name this video the benefits of diagonal in my life, and then um, a couple more things. The part of the diagonal that they actually use. Also, I'm sorry, I want to show you this. They also have a diagonal tea that I'm using. Now, this tea, I, like I said, it depends on the quality of the diagonal. This tea is pretty neutral, but this is very, very bitter. I got this from the Chinese shop as well. I'm going to get this so you can see the name. Diagonal tea. I got it from a authentic Chinese herbal store in right here in Michigan. Sterling Heights, Michigan. Um, I can share the name with you, but I went and I bought like, I have two packs of these, the teas, and I also have another pack in the back. And I'm going to share with you really quick. Okay, so we'll get to all this other stuff. But I went to the Chinese shop and I bought like a whole bag of goji berries. I eat goji berries in the morning. I prepare them at night. I put them in like distilled water, spring water, or you know, like filtered water in a bowl. I put them in a refrigerator and that way they hydrate. And then I eat those for my breakfast. Because basically in the morning I eat fruit, berries, and melons if I'm not just doing all grapes. Then I have some Chinese herb faux tea. Faux tea, I'm actually trying to incorporate this because I've been seeing some gray hair. It's going to take a while, but these are herbs that I'm incorporating into my life on a daily basis. I also have some um, hawthorn berries, organic hawthorn berries. And I got this at Whole Foods. Hawthorne berries are awesome, but I'll do another video to tell you the benefits as to why I have put these herbs together in my formula. Here we have red, uh, organic red clover blossoms. I wanted to use red clover blossoms because it's almost, it's not an adaptogen, but it's a really good herb. People that have cancers use the red clover blossom if they're undergoing chemotherapy um radiation it's really good to protect the liver the kidneys the adrenal it's really good for your respiratory system it's really good for the heart the arteries the blood the lymphatic system it actually covers everything it's an amazing amazing herb then of course i can't live without my licorice root okay so Licorice root. I actually put licorice root in almost everything. Licorice root is like naturally sweet. It's a it's a root that looks like this. It's the actual root. This is like um, cut and sifted. I got this at Whole Foods. All of these I got at Whole Foods. The hawthorn berry, the red clover, and the licorice root I got at whole foods in the bulk sec section so you can go and do that and the re the way that i've actually been learning a whole lot about herbs because i look everything up learned i first started learning from dr morris because that is my mentor i love him his theory his his teachings and i'm all about healing with fruit and herbs and learning about the two sides of chemistry which is acid and alkaline neutral alkaline being neutral acid being acid whether you're in a state of acidity or in a state of alkalinity you there's only two sides of chemistry 
acid and alkalinity and we are made of a bunch of cells and two major fluids blood and lymph if your blood's not cleansed you'll know it you'll drop dead but most of all of our diseases are made up of congestion coagulation and just pure toxicity of our lymphatic system and once we get our lymphatic system cleansed first opening up the kidneys then healing the adrenals making sure our colon system is clean and then making sure we're cleaning out our lymphatic system we can conquer and eradicate any kind of allergies diseases or any kind of ailments that we possibly have in our body our bodies are miraculous tools we are the only ones that get in our own way if you just stop doing what you're doing stop all the bullshit and let your body heal your body will go back to the natural state that God has intended it for it to be we are our own worst enemies we think that we have to have all the synthetic matter and all these synthetic drugs to get healed well all you need is what God has so graciously provided for us uh, you guys I'm Tammy Tam Tam's Glam Slam Review. Please visit my other channel, Tammy Stevens. I haven't put much on that channel yet, but I will. Know that I love you guys. Know that I care, and I care about you. I love you. So, on our way out, I'm going to show you the brew that I'm making with all the herbs that I've just shared with you. So, I'm going to carry the web camera here. Hopefully, this works. If not, we'll know. <laughs> take you and show you look at here's my room can you see that so I'm bringing all of these things together so you'll see now once I brew this stuff together I actually want to turn it off I actually want to turn it off stir it a little bit I put like a lemon and a lime in there because what I did, I'm going to set this over here with a cooler eye. And then I want to show you the um, brew. I'm at a hotel, so you guys have to understand. This here, I put it in a bottle. This is a batch of the tea that I made previously. I'm not cutting this. I'm not going to like do any editing or anything. So you guys have to bear with me. So here is a brew that I made. I just used an empty bottle, a wine bottle that I had. Um, so what I've been doing is I've been putting it in a water bottle and carrying it during the day. I put a little lemon and lime in it. And then I put the actual tea in there you see at the bottom is more of the real good stuff in it and this is the same blend the faux tea the um red rose clover buds the licorice the faux tea hawthorn berries and i just sip that throughout the day once or twice no not once or twice actually i sip it more than three or four times because i actually carry it and a water bottle and I get a lot of it in and I've done uh, this is Thursday I've done a lot of it this week and it just makes me feel amazing some of the things that I was like kind of caught feeling and conquering I mean you guys I'll come back to you and tell you about the the feeling that I've had the feeling of wonderful health I just don't want to make this video too long if you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, share with me some of the things that you're doing, some herbs. I love learning about new herbs, and, and I love making my own herbs. Like you see, I'm making my blend. I like to put my energy in it and learn more about every way that it can help to detoxify, fortify, and rejuvenate my body. And I'm learning more and more every day so I can help you. So, this is Tammy signing off. Know that I love you. Know that I care. I care about you guys. Bye.